Hi, uh, my name is Aidan Boyce. I'm here to just to, to bring you through the uh, application screens for the Acres uh, system. So I'll just so just to, to say before you actually submit your app, Acres application, you see you must have the following steps done on the screen there. You have to have registered with the department as an Acres advisor. You, that you can do that through online services. You send in the form and your your the, what, what the same as you do for any other scheme that you may be you'll be familiar with other schemes like BPS and Gloss. It's the same process for that. Um, then you have to obviously get authorization from your client to act as an Acres advisor on their behalf. That again is done through the, the text message to the system where you you inform the department and the department sends a text message to the advisor and he answers yes and therefore that links you to the to the to the advisor then for the particular scheme. Um, once you've that done, then you should have access to the the expression of interest screen, um, which will allow you to submit a, an access agreement for your client for Acres. This is basically informing the department that you're interested or that your client is interested in participating in the scheme. Um, if you are a new advisor, just to be just just to point out that you will need to go to online services to get a username uh, so that you can access the Ag Food uh, portal for the, submitting your your application. So. If you are, if you've already been, if you're already an advisor for other schemes like BPS and like Gloss, you already have your 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 login details for your for your online ag food screens. But if you're a new advisor and haven't had any uh, haven't had any uh, uh, dealings with before with the department, you will need to contact online services to get a username so that you can go onto the department systems. So once you've done that, then you have to have completed the department's acres training. There was three. Uh, Training uh, tra training seminars for advisors, uh, two in July and one in September. So you have you have to have completed those in order to be able to submit an application for Acres. Um, once that's done, then you, you have to be certified by the Farm Advisory Service that, to be a fully trained ad advisor. That means you you obviously have to have done whatever training they need to do, and you have to have whatever paperwork they need submitted. Uh, once you've that done, then they they will send send your name onto the department, and the department then will be able to to give you access to the online systems that you need to to submit the application. So therefore, you have to go in as, as to the GLAM uh, application and submit a farm sustainability plan before you can go to the Acres application and submit the Acres uh, application on the system. So once you have all that done. Um, you can log into your AgFood account as normal, and you will see the you will see the Acres you will see the Acres uh, application there. So you can see it highlighted there on that. So click in on that, and once you click in on that, you'll see a list of clients for which you have an, an access agreement submitted. So you click then on the on the actions field. And you click create application, and that will bring you into the application, uh, the first page of the application form. Now, just again to remind you that you must have had a farm sustainability plan submitted on the GLAM system before you can create the application on Acres. If you don't have that, you'll see the message that's displayed on the screen. And you'll have to go back into the farm to GLAM and submit your farm sustainability plan before you'll be able to go and create your application on Acres. So, once you have the farm sustainability plan submitted, and you go into Acres, you'll see the screen again with all your clients where you have an access agreement submitted. So you go in, you you, you just hit your create application uh, option, and just so that will bring you into the application form. Now, just to say, the application form uh, some it's, it's only three pages long, so it's not that that onerous a process. Uh, it consists of three pages. The first page is common age, then you have your terms and conditions, and then you have your summary. So. If your client hasn't got any commonage uh, declared on their 2022 BPS application, you, you won't, you'll see the screen there. It'll just tell you your, your client has no commonage, so therefore you can move on. You can hit the next button and move on to the next screen. Now, if your applicant is in a cooperative zone and they have commonage, you'll see the screen displayed below. You'll see uh, just basically confirming the, the, the tick box that says confirming that you will that you will undertake the, the commonage action. And that if your commonage exceeds 10 hectares, you'll be scored uh, by the commonage assessor. And if it's below 10 hectares, you will have to submit a far, uh, commonage farm plan. Now, you have to tick that box. 
otherwise the 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 next action the next button won't become active so common is a mandatory action so if you don't tick the box you won't be able to go any further so you, you must tick the box so once you tick that box your next action your next button becomes active and you can move on to the next screen now if you're a general app if your client is in the general stream you again you'll see the same you see the the common screen the first the first tick box is the same again as it was for the cooperative Therefore, that's the, the tick box you have to tick if you, to say that you are going to undertake the, the mandatory commonage action. Um, now, the second tick box isn't isn't a mandatory tick box, but it is if you have at least 0.5 hectares of commonage declared on your 2021 BPS and are going to continue with the commonage, uh, you can use your commonage action to gain priority access to, to the scheme as a tier one applicant if you're a general. So, if you want to do that, you can tick that box, but you don't have to tick that box in order to continue on. So once you take either one or both boxes for a general applicant, you can go through to the next uh, screen. Well, the next screen is this terms and conditions. It just lists the terms and conditions that you're agreeing to when you submit your application. Therefore, you you confirm that your that your applicant accepts the terms and conditions. You confirm that the applicant has seen the details. And has agreed that they're the details that he wants to to that they're the actions that he wants to do. Uh, you, can exp you you explain the 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 regulations for for the underpinning the the application, and that if you fail to to if you fail to 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 abide by the the actions that you had said you're going to do, that you could be penalised or just to to make sure that your app that that your your client understands that. Now you you. And as you can see there, the terms and conditions, there's a link to the terms and conditions. So if you click that link here, it will send you to the terms and conditions document and you'll be able to have, have a read over them. So you have to tick all the boxes in order to, to continue on. As you can see, I've only ticked three in that screen. So therefore, the one box that's ticked means, that it's unticked means that you can't, you can't proceed. So once you tick all the boxes, the next button becomes active again and you can go through to your next app. You can go through to your next screen. Now the next screen is basically a summary of all your 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 actions that you've put in. Hold on, go back. The next screen is a summary of all the actions that you would have drawn on your farm sustainability plan for GLAM. Plus, if you've commonage, it will also introduce it will also uh, display the commonage uh, data from your BPS application for 2022. That it lists all the the commonage uh, parcels and your share and and the 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 hectares of all your commonage parcels. So that, so basically, before you you hit submit, you 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 need to to make sure that the actions displayed on the summary screen are the same as the actions that you've done, that you that you've drawn on Glam, and that your commonage details are correct, because once you hit submit, there's no going back. You can't edit the the, the application once it, it's submitted. That's it. It's it, there's there's no going back to edit it. So assuming that your that your um, that your details are correct then you can go and you can hit submit and as it says it gives you the warning to say that you, that, that that once you hit submit you can't you can't change your application so now if you have rare breeds if you if if you have uh indicated that your client is going to do the rare breeds action you have to have the rare breeds annual membership document required that you have to have that uploaded onto the system so if you don't have it uploaded onto the system, this message, as you can see, will appear and it will tell you to upload your document before you can submit your application. So clicking clicking that will, will bring you through to the, the upload document screen. Um, so you can see there for this one that the rare breeds annual document is required. So therefore you click on the action menu and it will tell you to, to upload the document. So once you hit upload document, It'll it'll go through the upload process. It'll it'll it, you'll have to to basically upload a PDF. It has to be a PDF from your from your from, from your computer, and it'll upload the document. And once it uploads the document, then it'll tell you the document to success, successfully upload it, and it will tell you then that your rare breeds document has is no longer required because you've already submitted it. It'll give you the the year the the document is for 2022 and the the document then the year document was was is for which is 2022 as well so once you've that done then 
it'll it once you leave the document manager page it'll bring you back to the client list page where you go into your application again so ideally you'd probably be better off uh, if you have rare breeds documents or whatever or soil sample documents for that matter to submit you're probably better off using the view the, the manage document tab before you ever create the application and upload your documents before you go into the application so once you once you've done that and you go back into the application and go into the submit button again you'll see that again it'll give you the warning to tell you that you have to submit you have to make sure that your uh, your actions are correct because you won't be able to to edit your application once you submit it so then it'll tell you once you hit the submit button and hit yes it'll tell you application su submitted successfully so if you if you have a, a rare bre or a, a soil sampling document or a soil sample derogation document to upload you can upload it there now or else you can just hit you can just uh, you can hit yes and upload the documents or you can just hit no and it will bring you back out then to your client screen so once your application is submitted it will no longer appear under the access agreement submitted tab it will be it will appear under the application submitted tab so it will be listed separately from the rest of them and if you want to view your application then you can go in to view application and you can you can just look at or you can open a read only a copy of your application So if you're in the middle of an application and you have to save it for whatever reason, you can save a draft of the application by hitting save as, dra save as draft. And you can, and once you've saved the application, then you can leave and do whatever it is you're doing. And then you can come back. If you want to come back to the same application, then once, you're, once you go back into the screens, you go to, go to edit application and that'll open up the application where you left off and you'll be able to continue to submit it so basically if you've any if you've any inquiries uh, you can you can contact the uh, email addresses displayed on the screen for for the general stream inquiries it's just acres at agriculture.ie for the cooperative uh, stream inquiries it's acres cp at agriculture.gov.ie okay that's basically all um, as i said thank you for listening today and goodbye